Welcome to another episode of Ask Father, brought to you by the Fatima Center. I'm Father Albert, a traditional Dominican, and here's the question posed to us today. A question from Cindy. Father, can you explain why there are different scapulars and what they mean? For example, I have a green sca- small green scapular. Isn't it enough to just have the brown scapular? Well, the different scapulars have different promises attached to them. That's why they're different. The brown scapular um, is something that was revealed a long time ago to St. Simon Stock, a Carmelite, and it's quite a bit different from the green scapular. The brown scapular, to receive it, in fact, you have to be Catholic, because what it signifies um, in a way, is an entry into a quasi-third order of the Catholic Church. So obviously you have to be a baptized Catholic to receive the brown scapular because it's, it's, it's not really entering a third order, um, but it's assimilated to that. And so to do it, to wear the brown scapular, you, you have to be Catholic. Whereas the green scapular is different. It's made for those people um, who need to be converted, so you can give it to, to anyone. So, so Our Lady is always the same, but she has different um, projects, as it were, and different means to attain different ends. Um, so that's why there's this difference between the different scapulars. So it's true the brown scapular is enough, in a way, but if someone needs to be converted, um, you can give them the green scapular because it's not absolutely necessary to be Catholic even to wear it, whereas to be enrolled in the brown scapular is, is almost like entering a religious order. You know, so you have to be Catholic to receive it. Now some people um, ask whether, well, can't, can't you just give a brown scapular to someone even if they're not Catholic? We've heard of cases where people on their deathbed um, have been given a brown scapular and that it's, it's helped them. Well, the answer to that is obviously Our Lady can do whatever she wants. She doesn't, she's not held by her own uh, promises to, know, to just do what she promised. Um, so, I mean, it, Our Lady is always uh, generous with any devotion that anyone shows to her. Father Colby talks about that, you know. But, um, anything you do for Our Lady, well, she'll respond to you. Uh, she's just waiting for people to show any devotion to her so that she can um, help them. I think in a case like that, someone dying, it might be better to give them a a miraculous medal because that's what the miraculous medal is for. It's for converting people. I mean, how many conversions have been worked by that medal? And the most famous one, obviously, is is Ratisbon, who was an unbelieving Jew. And... uh, he accepted to wear the Marxist medal, and he had a vision of Our Lady, and he became not only Catholic, but a Catholic priest and a founder of a religious order to convert Jews. So um, it might be more fitting to give the Marxist medal, but I mean, Our Lady is free to do what she wants. So um, I invite you to send your questions to the Fatima Center, and consider all we also to make a donation to help them make the message of Fatima better known. God bless you.